OpenAI says its responses are also clearer with less jargon and a more empathetic tone. Alongside these new models, OpenAI is adding new tone presets, things like a professional voice, a candid personality, a quirky one to make customization easier. The GPT 5.1 update is rolling out now, starting with paid users and will be available in the API as well. Now, Paul, I'm curious what jumped out to you most about this release. I really made notes to myself here about their big emphasis on the personality, the tone, how people interact with these tools. And we've talked about that before, but that really struck me how much time they spent talking about that in this release. That definitely jumped out. The timing, as I mentioned in the open, jumped out to me. It was just an unusual timing. I don't I'm trying to think if they've done a point one before. Like usually there's like a yeah, point five, right? Like point like, five, yeah. Yeah, three to three point five. So just an unusual numbering sequence. My understanding is it's the same core model. They've just done some tuning to it and specifically like encoding and math and like reasoning and personality. So they're basically just building on the existing model. It's not like they retrained a full-blown model and then released it. I've played around with it a little bit. Again, yep. the use cases I was using it for the last few days, not a noticeable change for me. I did note that GPT-5 Pro, which I know you and I both pay for the upgraded license, we have access to Pro, that is still at the GPT-5 level, but they did say they will update GPT-5 Pro to 5.1 Pro soon as well. 